Hi, in this video, I'm going to tell you why I think that egg is the best object for testing the precision of your 3D scanner. Because egg shape is slightly asymmetrical shape, so one side of the geometry of the egg could be um, different from the other side up to uh, 50 microns. I'm going to tell you later how I find this number. So if the 3D scanner can detect uh, the differences of asymmetrical, it should be able to merge the three scan, at least three scan together. This is an egg 3D scan with MAF3. I put it in cloud compare and convert it to the point cloud for 1 million points. Then I will make a thin slice 0.1 millimeter along the Z axis and I will extract the envelope of this profile and I will space each profile for 5 mm. Software will create 3D lines automatically and I will use this to investigate the shape of the egg. Okay, next I will do the same on the egg axis so that I can extract the vertical profiles. Now all the 3D line profile is extracted so I will save in uh, DXF format and open it in AutoCAD. Next, I will choose the largest uh, ring diameter, which is in the center, and then I will draw a three point circle along this section line. Next, I will measure a symmetrical from this lead circle line. It reads uh, 0.56 millimeter for this uh, larger section, and on the other side, it reads 0.33 millimeter. So the uh, asymmetrical is quite large for the midsection of the egg, um, 0.8 millimeter in total. Okay, let's move to the upper cross section, the smaller ring. I do the same, draw a circle with three points. A first measurement, 63 microns, and on the other side is 48 microns. So the egg shape is more circular along the upper and the lower part. Let's move to another ring upper section. I do the same three point circle, 57 microns, 39 microns. So the 3D scanner will need at least a 50 micron of precision to detect the asymmetry of the egg shape. If it cannot do this, it wouldn't be able to merge the multiple scans together. For the comparison, I also make a 3D scan of the egg with the CR scan author. I found that it's the fastest 3D scanner to capture an egg. I can make a 3 scan less than 2 minutes. But CR scan author cannot merge uh, three scans together. It can merge only two scans. And the mesh result from the uh, author leaves a seam line, uh, quite visible. So that the precision of the author is more than 50 microns. Uh, from my testing, it's around 0.1 millimeter, 100 microns. This is why it cannot merge the egg shape. I also do the egg shape scan with the CR scan laptop. This one is Raptor X, but I used a 7-line blue laser, so it's the same as the Raptor. The time it took me to um, scan this egg in a 3 orientation is about the same as the MAF3. It took longer time to scan, but the end result, the Raptor can merge the 3 scan together, but it leaves a very thin seam line, which I will show you in a minute. So if you wonder about the precision of your scanner, just grab an egg and 3D scan it in three orientation. If it can merge the scan so that the precision is in the range of 50 microns. If it cannot, you shouldn't use it for critical part fittings. Or if it used to be able to merge the egg before and now it cannot, then you probably need to send your scanner back for service. The accuracy of the 3D scanner can be adjusted by using the calibration board, but the precision, you cannot adjust anything. It has to be done in the factory lab. Okay, here's the part we are waiting for. The scanning result from the 3D scanner. From the left is MAF3, the author and the laptop. If you take a closer look, there is no texture applied to these three scans. I apply the same material for all the scan and there is no post-processing of the three scan. As you can see that the MAF3 shows no visible seam line after merging the three scan and it also can capture the porosity of the egg shell surface. It's the only one scanner that can in this test that can do um, this 
and if I move to the uh, author as I mentioned earlier that there is a visible seam line from the merging of the two scans together author cannot merge the third scan only two scan see also in the back is quite obvious Okay, if move to the laptop, the laptop has done a pretty good job as well. It can merge all the three scans together and you can also uh, see the very thin seam line, but it is not significant. Okay, now you can take a look for yourself and I will show you the texture from a math tree. See, it look uh, because it contains the porosity of the surface. So when I turn on the texture, it look uh, more real. But if I will apply the same color, into the eggshell from the author so if i apply the color here you see that the author doesn't look uh, real comparing with a 3d scan from the math tree its surface is it lacks of the details of the eggshell so it look um, smoother and also um, same as from the laptop but with the math tree it look more um, real because it's uh, the surface contain more of the detail than uh, from the laptop and the author okay i think that to um, get some information about the precision of the 3d scanner and how to um, how to check for the precision okay thanks you guys uh, for watching i see you in the next video